All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and create a simple horizontal carousel. Um, I wouldn't really call it a carousel, but I'm not quite sure what the term is. But we're going to create this sort of um, a horizontal scroll. As you can see, we've got more logos on the right. And uh, we're going to kind of create this in such a way that as I scroll over, you know, from left to right, this thing kind of moves, right? This is something that we're going to do in Webflow. But for now, we can just go ahead and build this, right? So um, as you can see, I've kind of defined some properties right at the beginning. So where I've said the height is going to be 140 pixels and the width is going to be 24 VW, right? Now we can definitely go ahead and add, uh, you know, a width of 340 or whatever we want, like a fixed number. But in this case, since we're going to be adding this interaction, the interaction works well if we have a variable, uh, value. So I'm going to choose 24 VW. So, but anyway, it should be quite simple. Let's go ahead and design this. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by creating a rectangle um, and uh, I'm going to remove the fill and I'm going to add in a stroke and the stroke is going to be level one. Uh, I think the stroke, we can set that to light gray or dark gray. I think, uh, let me just quickly check what we've used. Um, all right, we've used level one colors, I guess, right? So yeah, level one. Um, and as you can see, we can see that over here, very subtle. And uh, we're going to set the height to 140 because that's something that we define. Now I'm going to set this to 340. Um, this is not the right number, but because anyway, we are going to go ahead and add these properties over here. We're going to mention these properties over here. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to go ahead and actually, you know, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab this entire thing, copy that. And I'm going to bring that over here. The reason is because I want the logos. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of ungroup all this and uh, remove all the ones that we don't need. All right. And uh, we've got this logo. I'm going to take that and bring that over here. All right. And I'm going to select these two and then just go ahead and, you know, center them like so. All right. Great. And then I'm going to go ahead and group this. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this by moving this over to the right like so. And I think let's actually do this outside because it's much easier. And I'm going to go select these two and add a fill of uh, black. And I'm going to select these two and add a fill of black. So we can kind of clearly see this in action. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go select these two and put them in an auto layout. So right click and choose auto layout. So now we can see that we want things to be horizontal. So I'm going to select this and duplicate this a uh, couple of times until we have six, six items. There we go. And if I delete one, you can see the other one kind of collapses. So I'm going to select these logos. I'm going to press control X, delete this one, and then paste that inside control X, select that and paste this inside control X delete this and paste this inside and uh, control X delete this and paste this inside control X delete this and paste this inside right so this is pretty much what we have and I think this is pretty much done so we're gonna select this and kind of move this inside like so there we go so make sure that it's zero pixels from the left and again this is not going to be following the grid right? Because this is kind of expanding towards the edges of the screen. Uh, but we want to make sure that it kind of aligns properly over here. So you can see that the distance between this section and this section is zero. Um, and yeah, I mean, we could go ahead and do the same thing for the tablet breakpoint. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do the tablet breakpoint and mobile breakpoint a little bit later. Let's go ahead and build a few more sections of the website. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, it was very simple. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and create the projects section. So I'll see you guys in the next video.